Hey everybody, this is Taz with Wig Studio One. Today I just want to hop on and present a brand new style by Beltrus called Cubana in one of their newer colors, Coconut Silver Blonde. I'll take you through the specs of this style. We'll take an in-depth look at this color and a little bit of styling coming up. So the Beltrus Cubana is just one of a long line of mid-length kind of tousled curly styles by Beltrus. It is a part of their cafe collection. But let's get up close on this color Coconut Silver Blonde. If you like this style and want to check out all the different colors that it's available in, be sure to expand the description box below where I've attached all the links to this style and all the other Beltra styles. If you have a question about this style or any other, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. They're always ready to help. This is a combination of a silver blonde, some pure ash blonde, there's some coconut blonde in there which kind of reads a little sandy. So it's very dimensional. But then they go over all of it with a white highlight. So that's really gonna make it kind of a powdery appearance, very light, very bright, um, almost gray as it's coming across on camera. Now coconut silver blonde is not rooted, so it's a beautiful, unrooted, kind of a silvery platinum color all over. So if you're a fan of those unrooted platinum shades, I think you would really enjoy this color. You have to like the silvers though, which are so very popular right now. And it's absolutely not without dimension as you can see some of those ashen coconut blonde. Cabana has very long side pieces, right around 11 inches. Now, I'm six and a half inches from my hairline to my chin, okay? Um, I think that's probably a little shorter than average. So this style really gobbles me up in the front. So be aware of your measurement from the hairline to your chin because that's how your wig is going to look around your face. So 11 inches just really hangs down at least four inches below uh, my chin here, four, four and a half, five inches below there. Now, the lovely Bren does reviews for Week Studio One, and she has also reviewed this style. Um, so be sure to check that out. I'll try to link that video above. Bren has a little longer phase from her hairline to chin. I think she said was eight and a half or nine inches. So this looks completely different on Bren. It looks absolutely beautiful on her. Cubana altogether is around 12 to 13 inches. And it's pretty much the same length all the way around. It weighs just over four ounces and features a lace front and a center monofilament part. Let's take a look. So on this color, it's very light, but those, those knots are very fine. It does run temple to temple. And then it goes back into a center monofilament uh, part. Now what I can tell you about the center part is don't be afraid of a center part. You have so much flexibility. If you're a left-hand parter, you can move it to the left as far as it can go along that part. It has a wide mouth on the part and there's a nice big parting space. So this features that tousled wave that we're used to seeing with Beltrez, just kind of chaotic, kind of messy and very casual. Now what happens on this Cubana style, for me at least, is that it gets really bushy at the bottom, so it's rather smooth until you get about halfway down and then where the waves kind of break out creates a lot of volume at the bottom. So for someone with a smaller face like me, it really does kind of move in and take over. I feel like I need a machete to come out of this sometimes. <laughs> it is a beast. Uh, but for the right person with the right measurements, as you can tell with Bren, it's absolutely gorgeous. These fibers are ultra baby fine, and therefore you're going to see a lot of flyaways. I notice this with all Beltress Cafe Collection styles. This is the heat friendly fiber. It feels much like human hair and has a very fine denier to it. So you're constantly kind of beating back some flyaways. Easy enough to move them back into place but if you have some stubborn ones, you can just kind of clip them off. You can use some paste or some spray or, or just even a squirt of water will work sometimes. This style is super low on permatees. You will find some permatees around that monofilament part um, at the top sides back. It's, a, it's just kind of a, a thin uniform layer 
enough to cover wefting, uh, but not enough to give it a bunch of lift or volume in, in any place. A lot of this volume you see is just coming from the curl pattern. And as you can imagine, just by looking at it, there is a lot of hair on Cubana. However, it is a very fine denier. Um, and so it doesn't feel like it's a thick, heavy unit. Here's an inside look at the cap for Beltress's Cubana. There's your temple to temple lace front. It does extend back into the ear tab. That goes back into a center monofilament part that reaches the crown. And you'll notice that there's a very wide space there. It's almost like a little monofilament top that does give you maximum parting on either direction. There is a soft velvet ear tab, minimal stays, a standard nape with strap type adjusters. Now with the petite average circumference, I am struggling to get a secure fit on this. Even by cinching in the adjusters as far as they can go, I really don't feel very secure in this cap. I believe that it's more average to large in size. I always remark how beautifully glasses fit between the ear and the ear tab very comfortably on the Beltrust Cap A collection styles, very low in permatease and minimal cap construction in that area. So here it is with my sun readers. Beautiful and comfortable. Thanks for joining me for a look at the Cubana by Beltrest in the brand new shade called Coconut Silver Blonde. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.